Um, uh, today, I'd like to raise the issue of the International, uh, International Protection Appeals uh, Tribunal. It's been very welcome to hear that we've waived visas for those coming from Ukraine. Uh, the undocumented migrant scheme is also very welcome and is part of the programme for government. Um, but we have to be really careful that now as we're opening back up that all of the cases that had been heard online now go back to being in person, or at least that people have the option. Um, and most courts are doing that. But I have been told that IPAT is not. Um, so it is online. And you, you'd have to wonder, is this, is this an attempt to deal with a backlog through pushing through these cases, which is incredibly unfair to those people who are seeking um, an appeal through this mechanism? A lot of the clients who, who go before the, the court are coming from direct provision centres where they don't have privacy. Um, they're done over WebEx, which is quite flaky, to be honest with you. Um, and so I, I have heard from those in the legal profession that it is a difficulty. And I'm not entirely clear. So, Leader, you might ask Minister McEntee why, this, why IPAT is continuing to do these online when there's, there's no necessity anymore now that we're out of lockdown.